All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. As promised, I'm at Santa Pod Raceway today. As you can see, I'm in the daily, so I'm not actually gonna be drifting but a lot of the homies are here and it's been dry all day which is usually when the sickest driving goes down hoping to get a few ride-alongs get some drifting content for you guys and i'm definitely doing a pit walk because i'm certain there's going to be some fire cars here today i love drift days even when i'm not driving it's always a pleasure to be around drift cars and people who love the same bullshit as me or oh, the anticipation i'm gonna find my friends park the daily somewhere out of the way <laughs> Yeah, yeah, in the car with Max, about to go out. Got passenger wristband, I don't know if he's seen it. Max said he's been doing well today, so I'm excited. Getting there. Hell yeah. I'm gonna do terrible now, you're in it. <laughs> nah, don't worry, bro. You were saying you were trying to do some tandems with some other yeah, people too. getting there. That's exciting. Hopefully one day, me and, me and Max yeah. can be getting doors. Maybe in the other coupe. <laughs> yeah, 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 trust me. <laughs> These lot are doing bits. Touring's always weird to me. This is what me and Max were just speaking about, but it's I like, guess practical, right? Yeah, but it just looks like a boat. It's like, yeah. even though they're the same length, aren't they? Like the wheel length and stuff. They, yeah, yeah, same, same chassis yeah. length and like wheelbase or whatever. But yeah, they do just look kind of chunky yeah. and I don't know, not my favorite. <laughs> oh, there's Ian running across the track. Resident photographer, shout out. Yeah. Always getting good flicks, exactly. They I got one crashed. of these yellow things stuck under the car earlier. <laughs> Sucking over there trying to get it out. Bro, why did he even have them? They should just have the yeah. normal cones. I think that's plenty. We already know where the track is. All right, time to go. Cheers. This bit is so bumpy. Mate. Like, take off. They were supposed to redo the track, yeah. and now it's still bumpy here. Car is fired out. Doing. Oh my god, defeated. Uh, Rest in peace. The shit, love it. it. So good. There's that compact yeah. you want about too. Yeah, Damn. Yeah. I'm hyped. You did sick, G. Yeah, Come on. I love it. So worth coming out here. Literally, <laughs> my day has been fixed. <laughs> so bumpy, bro. Literally, 
Why your car is slightly bumpier than mine though? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I think it's the MXRs. Yeah, yeah. I'm overheating. <laughs> not the car, me. Yeah, yeah trust. It out. Yeah, yeah, passenger with Joe. You don't, you don't know Joe. Let's go. It sounds cool though. I like yeah, it. It's quite loud though. back i forget but he's down to do a car check video so expect that soon i just speak into a homie watches the video shout out to you uh, he was driving a green compact and he had medium case diff and he broke it and i was like oh how do you break a medium case diff and uh the air on the e30 diffs because they're single like air mount thing just snapped off and he told me he was running a uh, poly bush and in my opinion that's kind of why they break i always always preach stock diff bushes Whatever your setup is, stock bushes, that's it. Uh, unless you have like some fat race car, then don't listen to me. Uh, but I heard that Max's car was wasted. I think he's on track right now, up at the top corner. So I'm not sure what's going on. I hope everything's okay. I hope you can hear me. I think that might be him up there. No, I'm not sure. I hope everything's fine though. So Max's car is on a truck, looking real sorry for itself. Ooh. This is painful. What happened, man? It doesn't look too bad. Oh, that's fine, man. It's straight, it's calm. It's just a suspension issue by the looks of it. I don't know where Max is. I'm trying to find him, see what he's saying. So this is the carnage. <laughs> lower arm snapped at the lower arm, not at yeah. the weld. And uh, I mean, look, it's hit there. Yeah, it's hit that and snapped. Yeah. That sucks, man. MXR got wasted as well. Yeah, Blake was saying that it literally like actually bottomed out like straight up like the coilover didn't hold up the suspension just the arm went into the subframe and just snapped it hard so to me that's clear fault of the coilover not holding up the suspension properly uh, but maybe this is a lesson about <laughs> MXRs I'm not trying to say anything not trying to chat shit because I work with them in the past but I don't see what else would have caused that because the arm didn't snap at the weld and the coilover has exploded so not the best. The only real damage to the car though is the wing. So that's like, that's very minimal in it. Cosmetic. 
sad guy. See, that's the thumbnail right there. You already know. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Well, hopefully Max can sort this out because apparently he's supposed to be driving it home. <laughs> All right. I'm in Craig's S50. Never been in an S chassis in my life. About to get a ride. Follow him on Instagram. Craig's car life. Yeah, that's it. Hell yeah. Let's get it.
back on. Oh, I got transition. <laughs> Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I'm literally just bugging out about how this thing moves. Yeah, yeah, it's creepy, isn't it? Yeah, it's but yeah, yeah, yeah. Like your setup is fully like really good, and I can feel the difference between a BMW and an S chassis properly now. I'm glad I got to ride with you, man. Thank you. My mind really is blown. I'm not gonna lie. So this is the 50 that I was just in. Pretty serious. It feels like an actual drift car, like a a, a car that was built for drifting and not like a, a shit road car that you just are skidding. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, I'm like really taken away. I'm gonna give my like thoughts properly like on my drive home, real crazy. Little update on Max's situation. Looks like the car is on the ground. Let's see what's going on down here. What is going on down here? How's it looking? Oh, zip tied. Okay, this looks like it's uh, fixed, yeah? So what happened? Did you actually like sort it? Is it gonna be able to go on a trailer and that? Yeah, it was. Okay. Spanners on either side and cable tied into it. Yeah, nice. Hold it all okay, that looks legit. Nice high quality top mount. Yeah. Hopefully it should. I mean, you said you got a recovery for a good deal as well. Yeah, not too bad. That's good. Yeah, I mean, it beats fucking trying to drive it home, right? <laughs> no, I doubt. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to drive it. If we replace the arm, maybe, but it's a bit sketchy. Yeah, definitely. So, did you end up finding your corner light? Yeah, yeah, the guy picked it up. Perfect, yeah. bro. Easy. Yeah. Shit happens, absolutely. It's fine. I mean, at least now this gives you an opportunity to get some proper coilovers, right? Yeah. yeah. Boom. Well, probably another set of max. <laughs> Imagine. <Yeah. laughs> that would be funny. Uh, got the wise fab on. Sounds like, yeah, that would be a lot of fun, eh? I think I'm going to do a little pit walk now because I promised to do that. See if I can get some nice cars on the video. So here's the daily all the way at the back looking extra ugly with this dusty spare. A BDC looking E36 Kings car. I'm going to start from the top. Make my way down, Celica Supra, way too lit, maybe it's an S12. Rusty looking E36, I love that, it's H Reg, so extra classic. Couple of racy looking cars with mental paint jobs. This looks insane. A V8 RX8, wild. This E36 is kind of fresh, looks uh, cool. I like this, coupe, 350C, S13 coupe, pretty sweet. Uh, E36s, this is that green compact I was saying about earlier. That's a cool S, uh, E36 there as well on a trailer. Best S15, so good, literally blown my mind. I can't shut up about it. MX-5, 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 JZX, broken lip. Serious looking coupe with full interior, we like that. Touring, another coupe. Uh, fresh S13, we like this one. A uh, couple of other cool cars. Joe, George, S14, thank you, very nice. Um, this S13 is pretty fresh too. Drift BMWs, uh, Touring, uh, S14. This van is pretty sick. Yo, oh, there we go. A quick one. I'm on a cruiser. Uh, I think um, Joe was having some issues with his uh, cooling system on his S13. He just left it out here looking all cute like this. Probably waiting for it to cool off. It's a sunny zone kind of outro. I've been chilling outside, so I'm feeling a bit cold. Bright and sunny, but just freezing. This is UK winter for you. It's not really winter yet, it's like autumn, but it's getting wintery. I wanted to talk about the air chassis experience, okay? I'm very, very speechless, I'll be honest. Like, my mind is genuinely blown, as I said a few times. Big shout out to Craig. Thank you for letting me ride with you, man. You really opened my eyes. I actually got to ride with him again in the final session. I'm not gonna bait out his setup too much. I'm not too clued up on air chassis at all. 265, 40, 18 road tires running around 20 PSI. To my understanding, his setup was quite mild. 2 liter SR20 running around 380 to 400 horsepower. Link ECU, all the good stuff. To be fair, maybe that's not very mild for an SR. I might be chatting complete shit. I've always wondered what an S chassis feels like compared to a BMW. And the way I can describe it is that BMWs are about aggression, commitment, and really trying to push the limit. Whereas an S chassis is about actual driver skill, precision, and like genuine control. It's really difficult to explain. These are all like similar attributes, but they translate so differently through the different chassis. I will be honest, I have the S chassis bug now. My whole life, since the start, well, not since the start, because my love for drifting came from the 240SX. My original influence was um, like Chris Forsberg doing the um, English Town stuff with the like drift missile car, like Ryan Turk, right before he started messing around with the um, 
Scion FRS or whatever they were called back then. Then I really started getting into E36s through realizing that they were my childhood favorite car and that they're really capable drift chassis. And since then, I've kind of grown out of the air chassis idea purely because of how expensive they are to own and run. But after getting a ride in one that's actually built and set up properly, I really do understand the hype. Leave a comment below. What do you think? BMW versus S chassis. What's a better drift car? You can tell me they're both shit and to get a JZX as well. I'm going to stop rambling. I had an amazing time. An afternoon at Sander Pod Raceway. The drift What You Brung event is the best way to spend a Wednesday. Hands down. Subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Hopefully next time I'm actually driving my car. I should have a capable car for next year's season. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Rogue Drive. Support the channel. Visit the website roguewild.co. Tag me on Instagram with photos of the stickers on your cars. I will share and repost you. Other than that, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.